Hi, you are very welcome to the Mastermind channel. I don't know if you remember, but in the last video we talked about the symptoms of depression and the importance of being alert to this type of symptoms. Today we're going to go deeper into this subject. But before we start, I have a very important request. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, subscribe. It's very important so that other people can have access to this video. Okay, now let's get down to business. Uh, in our society, uh, the physical part of the person tends to be very valued. So we pay a lot of attention to our physical health, but our emotional part, we tend to neglect. So the treatment of most of the diseases, most of illness is relatively easy. But the treatment of depression is far more complicated. Depression is not just a result of a chemical imbalance in the brain. If so, it would be easily cured with just medication. Depression is a combination of biological, social and psychological factors. For instance, history family of depression. If you have a family member that already had depression, that may be a, a genetic susceptibility for you to have a depression. Um, trauma or childhood abuse also can trigger later for you to develop depression symptoms. Loneliness and isolation, for instance, um, if you tend to isolate yourself too much. But here I'd like to make a quick um, note because I talked about this in my first video, the importance of being connected to other people, especially in this pandemic situation. So if you haven't watched that video, take a look at it. And um, you, you see the importance that I talk about of like video calls and other ways to communicate um, even in the middle of the, the pandemic uh, fatigue. Also, um, if you have like marital or um, relationship problems, it's known that uh, healthy relationships, positive relationships have an important role uh, and uh, helping to have a good mental health. But the opposite is also true. So we have to pay attention to that part as well. Uh, if you have like recent stressful experiences of life, such as um, bereavement or a divorce or um, financial problems, or if you have like, um, let's say, you get fired, unemployment, things like that also can have an important role in depression. Also, there are uh, some types of diseases like chronic illness, such as uh, uh, heart disease and diabetes, cancer, also can play an important role in depression and it may be a risk factor such as chronic pain as well and i'd like also to talk about personality personality traits uh, there are some uh, personality traits that you inherit from your parents or from uh, life uh, past experiences that can um, also have an impact on depression for instance if you have the type of personality that you worry too much about things you need to be um, aware of that and just you know start to relax a little more because that's a risk factor as well also substance abuse substance abuse like alcohol abuse or um, drugs the use of drugs and some people take um, alcohol as self-medication in order to uh, increase their mood but actually it can have the opposite role so the most important thing is to recognize um, that you have a problem 
and look for your friends, look for your family. Don't isolate yourself because isolation is a fuel to depression, okay? So it's very important that you realize what your situation is because only the change of situation by itself, uh, it can help the treatment plan for the depression. I'm going to give you a quick example here. If you are in like um, an abusive relationship, a uh, toxic relationship, and all of a sudden you realize that. So you, you should seek for help, first of all. And you can even ask for marital counseling or a therapist. But even if that doesn't help, it's not taking medication that it's going to get you out of depression. So you might even have to break up with that person and move on with your life. Okay, so this is just uh, an example of how a situation can change um, your, your, your depression symptoms. So when you try all this and if you think that it's not enough, you should seek for help for a mental health um, professional. And um, the next videos, I'm going to talk about uh, some things that may help you to deal with, uh, with the depression as well. So, did you like it? If you liked it, leave your like. And um, if, you, if it was useful for you, this video, forward it to your friends and to your contacts because it may be useful to someone else. Okay, so I'll see you next time. Take care.